direct enemy to Islam, then... What is Kim that makes her a direct enemy to Islam? Kim is... Kim is part of a secret society. Secret society, what is that? What is a secret society, world? It's the Masons and the Eastern Stars, you know? Okay, Masons and Eastern Stars. Everybody, now we're getting someplace. Yes, we are. <gasps> it's like pulling teeth talking to you. <laughs> a beautiful smile, I might add. Very, very nice. Okay, bring us into the world of what Masons are about. And an Eastern Star is the female to Masons. Right. I do not know that she's an Eastern Star. Tell us about Masons first. Okay, uh, the Masons, like, you know, they, they're a little secret society of people, and and them and the Jews, they sit back and they feel like they make the decisions on what's going on in the world today. But they could plan, but Allah is the best of planners. So what's going on is, like, it goes from the presidency mm -hmm. to the music industry right. to the courts. But let's talk about the music industry for a minute. Okay. All right, now, you got a lot of these cats, if you hear them in their rhymes, a lot of them is spitting the language. And they're really nothing but puppets for the bigger people. And, you know, everybody knows that Everybody knows about these people, but everybody's scared to speak up. Well, I want you to speak, and I want you to tell right, me, because right I'm, now I'm, we're I'm, talking I'm, a secret I'm, language. No, no, I'm, not, no, I'm, getting, no I'm, giving, I'm giving a jump deep into it. Okay. All right, now. In that little circle, they, you all know that um, you have to be sworn to secrecy. Yes. So it depends on what type of level you in, you in this thing to whereas how you have to be sworn to secrecy. Got gotcha. you. These rappers... They know how to get. They got to be sworn to secrecy by homosexuality. Okay, now we're getting to the crux of things. What are you saying? Because I know Masons, and I know guys whose fathers are Masons, and they've aspired to be Masons. And and I I briefly know the Eastern Star. Is an Eastern star supportive of the homosexuality by way of partaking in lesbianism? Both. Okay. Turning dudes out and all kinds of things. That's all they're about. Who Sex, is... drugs, and cash. Okay. Okay, wow. The biggest secret then within the Mason organization is the homosexuality. Of course. They don't want that to be exposed. Who that's is why this... they, That's why they don't want me talking. That's why they do what they do so as I don't have no voice because they know. Let's start naming names. What do you mean? Jay-Z. How? Huff. 50, Russell Simmons, where you want to go with this thing? I'm not surprised. Keep going. I'm, I'm flinching. I'm, I'm poofing up my hair, everybody, in I that mean, way of saying, look, he's not saying anything new to me. Go ahead, world. Exactly. All them dudes, man. All them dudes, but... Ja Rule and 50, what's uh, that all about? Wow. You know they beefing over a homo. Shut up. I mean, keep talking. Yeah, they beefing over a homo. That's is is this a transvestite? I wouldn't know. Okay. I wouldn't know. I don't get that deep into it. But you know the world come back to me. Because, you know, people want to expose them. You know how the homos do. When you're trying to be on the down low, they're going to blow you. I get the calls all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But back to what's going on now. As far as with the Masons go. LL Cool like, J? He's one of the big one. Now. Okay. He's huh? the first one on Death look. Jam doing his thing and look, all that. Look, look, nothing new Yeah, blow, exactly. Cut, yeah, uncover it all. So Russell... Um, being king of Def Jam, and I've always looked at Def Jam and the artists. But, okay, listen, listen. Only thing you have to do is pay attention to the way these dudes look. Okay. These dudes is grown men. How you running around in all these videos and all that and you don't got no facial hair? That's because they're imitating the people that built the pyramids. If you look at them dudes throwing up the dynasty sign. Okay. They throwing up the dynasty sign. That's a diamond. The di the pyramid is actually a diamond. Right. Half is up top. Right. And half is down low. Right. Yeah, this is what this is what these dudes represent, but they really don't know what they're following. They're really, really lost. Like the devil is really fooling these people. They really don't understand what they're following. They're just soldiers and puppets for the bigger people. And if you and if you pay attention to what's going on, like they're really trying to step in into the Muslim world with their music and all that. You see these dudes now in videos, all in all in deserts and all that on camels and stuff. You understand? Yes. Exactly. R. Kelly. Come on now. Okay. I mean, he's a puppet, so they're trying to, you know, get into the Muslim world. Clive Davis. Exactly. They're trying to get into the Muslim world and, you know, and corrupt our world. And they, and, and it's not just being used on that level. I mean, even up to the president. All right, let's look at it this way. Right. Well, what are you saying? That the president is down? Of course. I mean, he called the shots. Mm -hmm. Him and his secret. Him and his little circle. Yeah. He calls the shots. And What's wrong with women? I mean, what are we, lepers? I, mean? I, I, I don't understand. What do you think comes first? The urge to be down or the joining of the organization and finding out what you have to do to be down? This is what this is what it is. Right. A lot of these dudes, they just want they want a few dollars. Right. So they don't really understand what's going on. Right. A lot of them right now wish that they couldn't. That wish that they didn't have to go that way. World is in the studio, everybody. I believe that too. I be, I've always said there's there's born and then you know you're you're down and then there's turned out for 
things, whether it's money or fame or whatever. Exactly. And I, they're, they're, um, all right, we can, all right, let's look at Puffy, this. Mace. Exactly. And you know why Mace left. You they got dudes faking their deaths and all kinds of things. Like, this is, this is really crazy. Exactly. Uh, is Tupac alive, world? <laughs> I mean, because you said all right, death, all right, so all right, I just want right, to go back. Right. It's a movie called Wag the Dog. Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro was in it. Okay. They show you in there how America fakes wars when the president is about to go through a scandal. Yes. They fake a war. All Hollywood scenes and so, you're so, sick- so you you can be thrown off from the scandal. And then you know. You know what world? And when it, and, 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 and my palms sweat as I talk to you. I, and when it's time, and when it's time for the like whoever the Hollywood producer they use, you know, whatever the people's involved. Right. They gotta go. You know they gotta go. They so gotta, where is Tupac? Who knows? Maybe he thinks he's in paradise. But he's you, not here on Earth anymore. I'm asking you, is Tupac dead? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't okay. know. I wouldn't know if he's here on Earth anymore. But from what I can see, was Tupac getting down? From of course. From what I can see, from what I can see, he's around. He's around. He's around. And a few other people. But um. Who? <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> No, I was Biggie? I don't, I don't, I don't, be, be, that's, that's, I, was, look, hey, hey, you know, know what? I don't know what, I mean, was he about to expose it? What was going on? We've, I mean? you and I, or not you and I, I'm pointing to Art. Art, we've talked about for ages, but I'll tell you what, I was always saying, not big, not big, not big, not big, not big. Oh, man. All right, let's, let, let, let's. Would Big be with Bad Boy if he was alive today? No. I didn't think so. No, he was trying to do his own thing. Why well, would be involved in this and be under somebody? You used to do um, a lot of hanging out in Los Angeles. You lived out there for a moment of your life? No. Okay, did you bodyguard Eve? Did you, what was your affiliation with Sean? Wow. Nothing. I don't even know that guy. Okay. Well, this is why I'm glad to have you in here. Wow. You um, are. These are rumors. World, it's everybody, rumor is, um, is uh, a rapper just getting, you know, a taste of, you know, a little radio airplay. We play you here at, at uh, the Wendy Williams Experience. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I'm very excited about talking with you today. Do you have children? No. Who is that woman with the fabulous boots? I, I see her right there. No, but uh, who is she to you? Do you make love to her? <laughs> Personally, right? Yes. A Muslim man mm-hmm. is really not supposed to have sex unless he's married. Okay, so is that... So if I would be making love to her, I would be married to her. But did you have sex with little Kim? You said technically, so... Of course. Yes, you did have sex with her. Yeah. Was that, that no good? Uh-huh. Can she swallow a spoon? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, was it good or was it just regular? She's just a regular woman <laughs> in sex. I mean, was it circus? Uh, I mean, really? You don't know. Is she the queen bee for real? <laughs> oh, is is she? Or is she just, is she just a woman like the rest of us? Kim is Kim. Is Kim. What can I say? That's Miss White, Queen Bee. She's who she is. Do you drink champagne? The Wicked Witch of the East. Are you still friends with her? I mean, we cool. I don't have nothing against her. Kim is not a bad person. She's called cool between the rock and the hard place. Okay. You know? No, they sent her out to do something that she wasn't able to do. East, I'm a grown man. As an Eastern star, what did they send her out to do? You know, they tried to get her to get me to join, the, you know, the homo club. <sighs> okay, I got you. How did you find out that Kim was an Eastern star? Because in my opinion, that's something that you that you keep a secret until you can unfold it to somebody. Well, she never really... See, what they got to understand is that, and this is for the record, Kim never exposed nobody's private life. Right. Kim never exposed their secrets. So... As hard as they're being on her, they don't have to be because she was loyal to them. Yes. So they really should be letting her eat instead of doing the way, doing her the way that they do her. Okay. Because she's not eating the way she's supposed to. She never exposed nobody's private life. Oh. She never ex- exposed their secrets. But, you know, I mean, all good comes from a law. I can sit back and read through things. Okay. Because this is something that and, the law blessed me with. And what kind of things were you reading through? Did she have, uh, I mean, uh, like how, how... I mean, you can just... It's all in the lyrics. It's all in all they live it. So then one day... She wants to introduce you to some people. No, it, it wasn't. It, 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 didn't, it didn't come out that way okay. because, I mean, you know me, I'm always speaking out against them. These people are enemies to Islam. Why the rap industry? I mean, there are so many other places that the Masons, the, the Elks, because, the, the President, so many other industries to conquer. Because this is, Malcolm X said it. When Malcolm X said it, he said it the best. He said, America has the best weapon in the world. It's not a bomb. It's not a gun. It's the media. This is Chuck D, Public Enemy, number one. You are listening to the...